Hello everyone, Zach Barnes here for the WT Sports Network welcoming you to this week's edition of Heard That. Buff and Lady Buff basketball once again on the road going to Midwestern State and Cameron this last weekend, ending up going 3-1 and one combined. Starting off on Thursday, Lady Buffs with a 79-53 win over Midwestern State with a balanced attack. Six Lady Buffs ending up scoring in double digits on that game. Allie Decker ending up leading the way with 17 points, while Lily Vanderzee and Lexi Hightower with 14 on the night. Then in the night cap, the Buffs ended up losing 84-78 to Midwestern State. David Chevovic ending up posting 23 points on the night, as the Buffs did end up getting their first conference loss. Then on Saturday, both teams playing very well at Cameron. Lady Buffs ended up getting a 77-64 win over the Aggies and Lily Vanderzee with a big night scoring a double-double with 17 points and 12 rebounds. Sydney Walton also scoring 17 points. Good weekend for us. Um, loved our effort, loved the intensity that we came out with. Um, we knew Cameron, that's a tough place to play. Uh, it's a small gym, it's really, really loud. Uh, commu communication and just hearing each other. Um, we knew it was going to be a task at that too, but Lily came in, she had a really big game, double-double for us. We needed that post inside presence. We've been looking for that from her all year long. Got it. Uh, we hope that she can continue to sustain that. Um, but I thought a few of the people, Sydney Walton stepped up. Um, she had a really solid game for us. Lexi Hightower, especially that first half, I thought she led us offensively for a little while um, as well. So collectively, a uh, team effort and we're happy with that win. And then in the last game of the weekend, Buffs and the Aggies in a four overtime game as the Buffs ended up winning 198. David Chalovic once again leading in scoring with 28 points in the game. Yeah, the Cameron game was uh, probably a game I've, I've never been involved in. Uh, four overtimes and you know I don't know if we've ever scored 18 points in a first half ever, any of the teams that I've ever been a part of. Uh, that was such a low number and then the get to 100 is, is just amazing. I mean, you couldn't, uh, I wouldn't have believed you if you would have told me at halftime we we're gonna get to 100 points. Uh, it was just a great effort by our guys and we never gave up. We actually told them in the locker room too, you know, we're, we're right there, we just missed some shots that we normally make. We gotta get some stops, we stay in it. And uh, we came out at halftime and, and got a few buckets and got back in it. It was a ball game all the way through. After the weekend, the Lady Buffs sit 11-4 overall, 4-2 in Lone Star Conference play as coming up on Thursday and Saturday they will host Angelo State and Texas A&M Kingsville. Angelo State's solid. They're 12-0 for a reason. Uh, they have depth and uh, led by Taylor Dorsey, which is kind of the heart and soul of that team. Um, and then they have post play and uh, they have two or three post players that uh, we'll, have to, we'll have a work cut out for us to defend. Um, but they're a solid team, well-coached team, and we are looking forward to that battle. Kingsville, much improved team, not the Kingsville of old that we're used to seeing. Um, they've already knocked up a few teams in our conference already. Um, they're a little more athletic this year, and uh, this is his, I think, third year now there, so they're finally getting some things going, and uh, they're going to be a tough team as well, probably uh, the toughest Kingsville that we've seen in a long time. After this weekend, the Buffs sitting at a 16-2 overall record, 4-1 in conference play, as also as the Lady Buffs, they will be hosting Angelo State and Texas A&M Kingsville this Thursday and Saturday. But we got to get right back after because Angelo comes into town and they were number, you know, they were a top 10 team. They lost a couple games, so they're going to be really looking to get back on on track too. And they're very very talented as well as Kingsville just knocked off Tarleton, who was undefeated in the conference. So two tough games coming up this Thursday and Saturday. 